What's going on guys? Colin here at East Starland. We're gonna be going through some games that you guys have sent in today. We got a little smushed one here. Might still be good. Let's take a look and find out. All right, I hope this one is gonna be okay. This one was a little bit smushed on the outside, which always makes me a little bit nervous. And sometimes they're fine. Most of the time they're fine actually, but you never know. I guess we're gonna see what we got. <clears throat> oh man. Okay, I see we have some in-box Nintendo games so far. We've got Krusty's Funhouse. We've got Bart Simpson also. These look pretty nice so far. It's actually pretty great. Good corners. You can see very nice corners in there. You know we love our good corners here. The nice box. What does this have featuring The Simpsons, of course? Obviously. And then we've also got... Is this new? Batman... Oh, it looks like it's been open on top, but... $20, $19.99 at Dwayne's Toyland. Wow. I'm almost afraid to open it. I kind of want to take a peek. I mean, it's already open. It's already open. Or not. Maybe we won't. <laughs> we won't go that far. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine on the inside. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about in there. We got Turtles too. I know we see this one quite often. This is a very common, uh, pretty, pretty common. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should check the inside and see how this one, oh, <laughs> I thought, thought it was empty when I first saw it like that. It's a little, little concerning but we've got some uh some goods inside turtles too that's actually really nice that's actually great shape there's not really any discoloring on that so much do you have anything else is that it we have a we've got a sleeve a nintendo sleeve always very desired people love their sleeves but yeah that's it still got the flip the little uh, <laughs> the flips the flippers of the box still got those on there We'll put those aside. Xenophobe. I, I guess this isn't associated with Alien. I always think that it was. Slime Time. I don't know. I've never played this. It uh, looks pretty interesting, actually. One mega power. Check your units. Check your computers when you get home. How many mega powers do you have? Let's take a look at this one because I got a good feeling about this one. Ooh, very nice. Split screen action? Really? On the Nintendo? I didn't know that there was split screen on the Nintendo. Even Grand Theft Auto San Andreas doesn't have split screen. But Xenophobe on the Nintendo. You heard it here first. You wanna play two player split screen with your 20 inch CRT? That's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see two screens about that big. That's, what, that's how it's gonna look. <laughs> Pretty cool, might be worth checking out. I don't know, I've never, uh, I've always seen that game. I've never, uh, never played it myself. Probably pretty good. But also never really heard much about it, so you never know. Sometimes it's a gem, sometimes it's sometimes it's just what it is. Alright, we'll put that back nicely. And we've got a sealed copy. Sealed copy of Big Bumpin'. Look at that. You love to see it right there. Five dollars a Burger King, I remember back then. Because I remember I bought this at Burger King when I was a kid. I remember walking in and I was so excited. Cause I was like, wow, I'm getting a 360 game here at Burger King. Didn't expect it whatsoever. Alright, we'll check out Turtles too. Also, or the first Turtles. This game is super common. I know we see this all the time. But everybody loves their Turtles. This almost feels too good. It feels glossy almost. It's a little suspicious. But no, I think it's real. Good. I'd be surprised if this wasn't because it's a little beat up enough to... It's probably legit. And I'm just gonna put that aside. I'm not gonna deal with that. Because boxes are nice, but they are tough to put back together. We got Ikari 3. Always looks like all the other, uh, all the other, uh, what is it? Rambo games. We got something in here. What is this? We got some maps, maybe. Instruction manual. We got the instruction manual. Ooh, you'll gobble up tasty maps. Nintendo Power. <laughs> Don't open. Oh, man. Look at that. Man, that kid's having a great time. See, that's it was fun when you had stuff like this back then. And you actually had a little more life to your games. Even though now they're canceling Game Informer, if you didn't know. That is now a thing. That is recent news. No more Game Informer. No more Nintendo Power. I don't know what we're going to know for games. We're just going to have to watch X-Play, but X-Play isn't around either, so you can't have that. What is this? A gun knack? <laughs> some giant carrots. I don't think I've ever seen this. And I, I always think I've seen them all. And then I... Okay. That would make sense if it's a shooter and 
It's one that you don't ever hear of or that you have never really seen. Oops. Look at that, flipped perfectly. Gun knack, interesting. I bet it's really hard. I bet it's absurdly difficult. I'm gonna try to very carefully pull this stuff out because, oh, that's a pretty big, it's a nice guidebook too, a little bit right there. Wasn't me, look at that. Game counseling, too much gaming, you know who to call. Ooh. You gotta appreciate those screenshots. <laughs> That's cool, I like that. Take a rock on a block and call me in the morning. <laughs> never seen that ad before. This is interesting, I've never, uh, I just, I've, I, it always baffles me. Like I've, I played so many games and then Gun Knack, and I'm sure there's somebody, I'm sure there's like a fat amount of people on the wait list looking for a copy of this game. There's no doubt in my mind, something like this. I know you all want it. Well, maybe five of you. Oh, do we still have a... Oh man, there's something special inside. I can get it out. Oh, it won't come out. <laughs> Some cardboard. <laughs> Look at that, blue cardboard. Look at that, very rare. The rarest kind, only seen in Gun Knack. The cardboard. <laughs> Styrofoam. <laughs> Styrofoam. Whoops. <laughs> Blue cardboard. <laughs> Looks a lot like styrofoam. You'd be surprised. Alright, we got some other types of games. Best, least favorite, 1 to 10. That's an interesting <laughs> way to. Alright, gotta recover. Let's take a moment to get this back. Ammo first. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't get crunched in there. Put it against the back side too so it's nice and safe. Get that in there. And then we'll do this. How to reassemble your NES games. There we go. Beautiful. Just like that. Oh, crap. We got this one too. Slip it in the back behind the manual. Extra ten dollars. Extra twenty since it's this, since it's extra extra special. We have the French instructions in there too. I've never seen that in a gun. Really? I mean, the years I've worked here, I've never even seen it, so it's probably even more rare that you would see it in the box. This one I'm not familiar with either. Crash and the Boys. Oh, look at that. See? It's the same as uh, River City Ransom, Nintendo World Soccer. The same graphics. You see the same guy. Just probably one of the, one of the 40 or so games that they made in Japan that they decided to release some of them over here. Do we have anything else? No, not really. It's okay. Pretty cool. I bet this is a really fun game. 